Hi. Today I'm going to show you a card trick. Um, it's not a professional card trick. It's mainly for children, I guess. But it's pretty impressive. I've done it in family and everybody was wondering how I do it because they all know in my family that I have a very poor memory and this is all about memory. So here I have 10 pair of cards on the table and you ask people to remember one of them, let's say. You can ask three, four, five people to, uh, to remember a pair of cards without telling you, of course. And then you pick up the pairs one by one, like so. And I'm going to dispose them randomly on the table. Actually, face down. And then what you do is you ask the first person, tell me in what row your pair is. And you can leave and they can check the cards without displacing them. And eventually you come back and they'll tell you, okay, my pair is in that row only. And then you can show them the pair. All right, uh, let's say my pair was in that row and that row. Okay, let me concentrate a bit. There's your pair. And it's not because I have a good memory. Like I told you, I have a very bad memory. But I'll, sh I'll show you how to do this trick with a set of special cards and you will understand right away. All right, here I have my special cards made of letters, pair of letters. If I perform the same trick with these cards, you'll understand right away how it is done. Now, to show you, I will need to see the letters though, and I'm going to place them face up. All right. So I'm gonna dis I'm gonna dispose the cards randomly. As you can see. The cards uh, with the letters show you distinctively that um, uh, they form words. The trick with the playing cards is to associate a position where you will place the card with each of these letters. So when someone tells you that their pair is on that row, you remember that for that row, the only pos possibility for two cards being in that row is the T, right? And so on. Uh, in that row only, those I's. That row only, those U's. And then the R's for the other row. For that row and that row, there's only one pair of cards in common. They're the E's, right? So all you have to do really is remember the position of each card corresponding to the letter in your head. They're forming four words that you have to remember. Mizai, Talto, Usuli, and remore. They're not real words, of course, but they're easy to remember mnemonics. So I hope
that you can perform this trick. It takes a little bit of practice remembering the positions without thinking too much. Uh, so when you place the cards on the table, it has to look randomly. And the first time you do it, you can start with the first row and placing the cards and then maybe you do the trick again you can start with the last row and work your way up that way it looks a little more randomly than if you always place a card in the same order I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe and press the like button thanks for watching